I am Duratan, son of Garan, chieftain of the Frostwolf clan. What is up dudes? Welcome back to another video here on the Dude Gaming channel. We are back here on EU4 World of Warcraft mod here with the Frostwolf clan and Draenor. In the last episode, we were able to span across <laughs> Draenor from the Frostwolf area all the way over to the Dark Portal. Um, but in this video, we are going to try and do our best to race against time, and that is the Rise of the Horde. As you can see, the messenger from Narzul is already, you can already, you can already pretty much do it. Um, once you do that, the messenger for Narzul happens in 30 days. You can do the construction of the... Yeah, you can do this as well. Um, so <laughs> we're at that point where things are starting to happen. Um, but we are going to try our best not to do anything with the dark portal so we can never go through it. Um, like I said, like what I'm doing here, we're... Getting rid of certain things. Let's see here. Where each other? This one. Yeah, get rid of that as well. Just give us some manpower. Anyways, in this video, like I was saying, we are going to try our best to start taking out as many uh, provinces around us before some of these orcs start turning to the fell religion um, and just turning dark. So we are going to start with that by attacking Stonewall. We'll be taking on Stonewall and Bladespire. Dragon Maul wants nothing to do with this. We should be the better half of this. We'll see what happens. Prepare an offering. Yeah. Got to keep our spiritualistic ways. We'll send two guys here. Ooh, very nice. All right, took that. We're gonna go ahead and take this, and then we're gonna need to deal with the blade spire ogres as soon as we can here. Actually, I don't know if we'll be able to take that on, so our boats are just gonna chill right now. They already took out our capital. My God. That was quick. All right, we need to head back ASAP if we want to, because we're losing this war pretty bad right now, actually. No, yeah, send more troops, I guess. First and foremost, we're going to go straight for, okay. They're going to run all the way over to Stone Maw. We're gonna chase him down over here. Yeah, you have nowhere to run now. Easily wipe them out. Go back, take our capital back. We actually have a hundred percent conquest already. Which is awesome because we can take this and then we can take kind of what we want with them. Oh, maybe not. Okay. We do have to... So that's so weird with EU4 sometimes with uh, how the treaties work. Because sometimes you can take stuff back very easily and sometimes you can't. So in the last up, or the last series with the Silver Hand, we were at war with the trolls. But we could get land from the Scourge and the Peace Treaty. Hopefully we can stack wipe them this time. Nope. Might as well go for them. Are they gonna play these games? Okay. So, this war has gone on a lot longer than it should have and they pretty much just pissed me off at this point. So what we're going to do is we're just going to start our Relentless Conquest and just start taking as much land as we possibly can because uh, they just, uh, you know, pissed me off. So that's what we're going to do. So 
to start taking all of this land. Here, there, have 2,000 go up here, 2,000 here. I mean, they just kept running from us and it just got very old very fast. So here we are taking all of their land because why not at this point? way way down there unfortunately we'll just definitely have to head on down there and get that uh, situated but we pretty much just took over their entire country um, we're gonna send this down here to follow where the heck this blade spire is going and uh, go get rid of that revolt all right so we took all of their land <laughs> with our aggressive expansion or whatever that's called and we're gonna fa take the final territory here take all their money they are officially off the map. Um, we have a lot. Decor here. What? Oh, that was a 24 development city, the Bladespire Citadel. Okay. All right, I did not know that. And then finally, we are going to take all of this right here. And we have pretty much doubled in size from just one war. Um, we own almost all of the Frost Wolf area. We still need to take on the Thunderlords, but they are ally the Shadow Moon and Mach Uh It looks like good old Blood Maul here is a Vassal Dragon Maul. Be cool to take on the Tail Thrashers, but they're allied to Mach Nathal as well. Uh, what about Laughing Skull? Bone Truer and the Burning Blade. So expanding now is going to be a little tougher just because we are everything that's on our borders is starting to have a ton of allies but hopefully we can negate that with <laughs> how powerful we might become i don't know but we're gonna send our dudes over here real quick Ooh, we need to get rid of this asap awesome and i feel like uh, we're about to have a lot of crazy stuff happen here just because we took so much land so so fast uh, like we got Thunderlord separatists we got yeah we're about to have a lot of separatists around so we'll move this down here so we can get to about anything we're almost out of manpower which let's go here send these troops over here as soon as we're done here yep And boom. So maybe that's all the separatists? I don't know. We'll see. Like, it's starting to get crazy. I still don't want to turn on Blackrock just because I feel like as soon as I make them a rival, uh, Dragon Maul is going to drop us. And I don't want that to happen. Let's see here. Who is Machnathal allies with? Thunderlords Bone Chewers? Yeah, we need the. Well, we don't really need them, but it'd be nice not to have anything going on with the Bone Shearers right now. Uh, the Oranai, they're allies with Shat. Ankanine, Ambari, and Shatterath, so they're allied with quite a few as well. Um, anyone else on our border? No. Let's just do... Let's do the or Oranai right now. That's about all we can do. We have low... Crownland again. Corruption is going crazy because of all of this that we just took. There's another revolt. But yeah, we're just going to try to get through all these crazy revolts we have going on. Try to see if we can last. I guess I should not have taken all that land so fast. It probably was a bad idea for us to do this so quick, but um, you know, 
we'll be good here in about a year or two and we can keep pushing or um you know more and more and more land i know i want to take on the black thing they are allies to dagger jaw and tail thrasher dagger where's dagger Okay, they're a little bit small. Small. There's no one here. Oh, very nice. But yeah, we're gonna take on Black Fang next, and the Tail Thrashers, I think, and go into Dagger Mall as well. But first, we need to get some manpower. Get <laughs> us situated. Where is this? Oh, that's all that. And then the Frost Wolf Uprising. Yeah, I'll set my men here. Yeah, guys, we're going to skip a few years ahead into the future and see if we can't get ourselves situated. All right, guys, we have skipped probably a little bit more than a couple of years in the future. We are completely cored. We are OK in money. Um, we did lose some advisors, so I do want to kind of snag some of these guys. All right, and uh, out of the blue, um, I don't know what happened with Shatterath and the Burning Blade, but Snarlpaw and Saber Maul are going crazy against the Gorian Empire. Um, and Oranai was left here without any allies. Um, very fortunate, not too sure. I think Shatterath or somebody went to a war and Oranai didn't want to join. I'm not. I'm not sure what happened, but it worked out in our favor. And we are going to take <laughs> Aura and I for ourselves and just keep doing what we can to... Let's see what you're doing. Oh my gosh, they're so fast. Wow. They move so, so fast there. So since their army's over there, what we're going to do is break apart, actually, and try to take everything we can that's not their capital, and hope this 10,000 stack does not turn back around. Looks like they got themselves stuck. Very cool. Let's go to the capital here. practically be there we go yep and we're just gonna send this guy back all the way over to their capital and that was a quick and easy war for us if we can just pick off people who do not have allies especially strong allies Shadowrath being allied with black fang and having a juno partner in caribor where is caribor actually am i blind Ah, they're way over there. You know what? If I can get allied with the Shadow Moon, I bet you they would help us. Hmm. Might be worth doing that. And I guess we got some trustworthy allies here. But um, yeah, that should be the end of the war. Uh, we took down their capital. And that's going to cause a coalition against Tail Thrasher, Shatterath, and Torum. We don't really care about those guys coming to war with us, because if they do, then that's completely okay. But hey, we have taken over some more build buildings. Okay, okay. Of course, we got some more corruption here. There we go. Should be okay to make that much for now. Um, but yeah, another war down, some more land for us. This really has not been too bad. Um, yeah, we haven't really taken on anybody that's uh, powerful or anything. Like, I'm trying to see. So, Snarlpaw wouldn't join that war. This war has been going on for a while over here, it's just been really back and forth. Shatterath would be an interesting war. Dragon Maul would join it with us. Wait, is Bone Chewer not our allies anymore? What? I did not. Didn't know that. I bet you they'd help us with Black Fang. 
But I was thinking maybe getting Bone Chewer and Shadow Moon and then taking out Shadowrath. Uh, pick it out. <laughs> kind of sad to even think about taking out the Draenei, but, uh, you yeah. know. Gotta do what we gotta do in order to make ourselves the Orc Kingdom of Draenor eventually. So would Shadow Moon would join us and Bone Chewer. Let's see here. Let's ally them ally them we have too many I did ally Snarlpaw but maybe we should dissolve this alliance for now just for now uh, we can do travel connections here in a couple of months I'm gonna save up that for some travel connections uh, we have this where we can earn another Offense. That going on. We should have some rebels here and there soon. But with who we just allied with, would they come to war with us? Shadow Moon doesn't owe us any favors. Bone Chewer does not owe us any favors. Huh. Maybe they'll change their mind because if we can get Dragon Maw. Dragon Maw. Yeah, if we had Dragon Maw, Bone Chewer, and Shadow Moon, it's over. We could take down Shadow Wrath very, very quickly. Let's say this should be ready to go. Oh no! Dortan did not get to see the Eastern Kingdoms. He didn't get to see us conquer all of Draenor. Ah, that is so sad. A strange fever has claimed the life of Chief Doritan. As the court sheds its clothes for blacker garments, it strikes your successor what a frail and transient thing life can be. Oh no. The previous chief was a great leader of our people and a legendary figure amongst the Rorks rulers. Sadly, they recently fell sick and the Elder Shamans were unable to prevent their passing. In ancestral tradition, we know spirits of great shamans do not lead the world after life and sometimes new leaders channel their spirits for guidance. Since they have proven themselves countless of times, we think they deserve a special crypt for their internal rests. On the other hand, certain statements in our council are against it. Some of them do not agree and don't believe the previous chief deserves such treatment and doing so might offend other spirits. Now it's Doratan, man. We have to. Like... Massive crypt, yeah. Alright, so a new chief. Ruglug Iron Hammer will now rule our glorious nation. So we can upgrade our rank to to a duchy. Very nice. It's kind of weird that we uh, chain chiefs and uh, we're able to, you know, upgrade. Start class study. That is true. We really do need him to. Hmm. Since most orcs were either warriors or shamans. We're going to make him a warrior. I wonder if we'll ever have Thrall. If we ever have Thrall, we'll obviously, um, you know, make him a shaman. But I think Chief Ruglug Ironhammer says it all. He is definitely a warrior. So, man, I can't believe Dortan's gone, but his legacy will continue as we battle to obtain Draenor. All right, dudes, we have officially conquered and made the entirety of Oranai into a state of the Frostwolf clan. Um, it's still, we still don't have enough favors with Bone Chewer or the Shadow Moon to do anything with Shadowrath right now. So I'm kind of putting that on the back burner just for now. Um, I did notice I've been jumping around constantly. These guys are still at war. Um, not too sure. <laughs> kind of crazy I don't know what is going on entirely here but they've been going back and forth both Saber Maw, Snarlpaw and the Gorian Empire they just keep going back and forth 
But uh, anyways, uh, this left to where Saber Mar and Stormpaw will not join this war with uh, the good old Tail Thrashers. So, Dragon Maw will join the war with Black Fang, so I feel like we will be okay. But before I do anything, I want to put my guys right here real quick. Put them together. Can we get any more men? We cannot. And uh, we're going to declare war once again. Dragon Maul, let's go buddies. And hopefully their 16 doubt thousand stack does not mess us up. It looks like they only have 6,000 troops with the Black Fang, so that's really not that bad of an issue to have, in my honest opinion. So maybe we'll leave... No, I'm not going to leave Black Fang over here by themselves. Yeah, let's head right on for this. Yep. Very easily took them out there. Yeah, Black Fang's doing their thing, destroying everything, but it's okay. We're gonna go here and then come back. Black Fang looks like they're doing everything they can to take everything out. Yeah, we should easily wipe that out. And then we're gonna come right back up here. I mean, just let, you know, Dragon Maul do their thing. I think I'm just gonna attack this here. Boom, they're donezo. And it looks like Dragon Maul's gonna finish it off. We'll take out this fort here. It looks like they're just going to be down south there in Oranai area, but Tail Thrasher is pretty much just done. Hopefully they stay in this war long enough to where we won't have to deal with them. We'll see though. Dragon Maw doing? Go take them out. Whoa! What was that? Interesting. They're just out on that island? Really? Dragon Maw, what are you doing? What happened? Like, um, Dragon Maw, come on, what are you? I'm sure that's what. Bone Chewer? Yeah, you just want to come over here and take land. I know what you're doing. Finally taking them out. Send these guys over here ASAP. I'm assuming... what is this? Great project can be built. Yeah, no, we're not making the Dark Portal. Sorry. No, it's just not happening. We're not doing it. We can invest in an idea. Now we're going to wait for our stuff. Oh my lord. We have a lot of issues going on. Ugh. I'm right up north. Oh my gosh, they sieged and took it out. Dang, that was, uh, rough. I mean, these orcs, man, they do not give up at all. Like, they do not know how to give up. Like, they just keep, keep, and keep more fighting. Like, it's, it's crazy how long these, these wars go on. Oh man, come on. We gotta win this. Come on, come on. Huff. Oh. I'm just gonna take their capital. 
Please do not let them get away. My gosh. Just, they're done. Please. Blade Spire Citadel has issues. I'm gonna have to go home. Good lord. Go ahead and take our next diplomatic stuff. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, complete and utter destruction, and I'm gonna go ahead and take. Oh no, that's not good. Hmm. Can we take land with? Okay, we can. Cool. Why can't I take any of this? Oh, I see. I see. I see. All right, so this war is completely over. So Dragon Maw just was wanting some land over here, but uh, we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna give him any land. I know they're, they're our allies and whatnot, but it's just, it's not happening. <laughs> we're not gonna give him any land. We're gonna take that stuff right there. Looks like this was a very good province to have. Boom. We need to head all the way over here. Oh man, we're out of manpower once again. These wars have been just intense and just ridiculous. All right, so finally we can take all this land. Boom, hurrah. Woo hoo. All right, we're gonna have to keep some troops like around right here to be able to get back and forth between these lands, but in this video, we have done very well for ourselves, to be quite honest. We have taken over all of this up north of our capital. We have gone north a little bit. We have taken over the Orani, and we've taken over most of the Black Fang. So that's really awesome. We're not going to deal with that right now. No. Do need another advisor. Let's put that there. Our war exhaustion is pretty high. That's okay. We'll get rid of that pretty soon. Yeah, we have a lot of a lot of rebel stuff going on right now that we'll have to deal with for sure. But uh, yeah, that's <laughs> this has gone very very well so far. What would happen if we attack Shatterath? Anything with our buddies? If, the, if we give the Bone Tours land. They would want probably the Black Fang, so I probably would not. The Shadowmen would join. Dragon Maw, they're in debt. War exhaustion, yada yada yada, so in a couple of years they would join. So we'd have Shadow Moon and Dragon Maw. I think we could do it with those two. And I probably would not bring the Bone Chewers just because we do not want to give them any land. Sorry. Renai Village. I think we're right around the corner. But I'm gonna get my manpower back. We're gonna work on coring some things. And our country looks absolutely ridiculous. The borders are absolutely insane, but we are slowly expanding and that's all that matters. Okay dudes, it is March 588 and this has been bothering me for a while. Um, the Thunderlords have been alive for a lot longer than they should have. They're only allied with Mok Nathal right now, and we can call in the Bone... Well, Dragon Ball, we could bring in the Bone Chewers, but they do want land, and I don't know where they want land at. Maybe up here in Mok Nathal, but, uh... I don't know how I feel about that, so... And we really want them as our allies, we really don't want to mess with them until, really, we have to. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring in the, the Dragon Maw. We're going to take out Thunderlord as quickly as possible and then head up to Malknathal with Dragon Maw. That is the plan. We'll see how it actually works out. But we do vastly outnumber them. So let's go ahead and just quickly see if we can take them out. Okay, so they're heading back. That's not really what we wanted to happen. 
Um, yikes. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, good. Good, good, good. That's what we wanted. Come on, get it, get Oh! Did they win or lose that? Hold up. We won. We got that result. Wait, that was a sh naval battle. Oh, wait, what? Is that going to show if we won that battle or not? I wonder if it was just a draw. We need to take out this as quickly as possible. Allow them to... They can attach to us if they would like. Okay. Took out Gromgar. We're going to head on over here. Come up here. Ooh, Machnathal's getting wiped out. Oh, God. Oh, no. That is not good for them. Oh, no. Dragon Maw, I hate you. I was really wanting to get land up here, but it looks like Machnathal's going to be... It's over for them. I'm going to see if they just went out of the war. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Mock the fall. Blackrock just... Oh, gosh. That is not good. Now oh, there's, uh... The Thunderlord still alive. Magnathal, oh my gosh. You know, I want to see what Blackrock takes before we get out of the war with them, yeah. That's pretty much over. I'm kind of sad they uh, they took that. Um, kind of sucks, but... I'm going to wait and see, because I can still take land up here, technically. So... Military level six. Ooh, very nice. We get new guys. We can have an archer. Oh, with archer, some light cav, and we're gonna have. Yeah, just keep the orc catapult. Oh no, my chief! We broke our alliance with Shadow Moon. Whoa! Hold up, Shadow Moon. What? Why? That was so random. There's one thing I needed to show you all. I decided to... I switched up our ideas where we can get expansion. So uh, we can go into here and get on the border with Shadow Moon. But they... Uh, huh. Very interesting. Um, yikes. Oh, I see what happened. They tell us of the formation of the Horde. To re reign in any dissonance, Goldan has formed the Shadow Council to act as the guiding hand that leads Orc society towards the correct path. Those that doubt the power of the Warlocks and Necrolites are swiftly punished. Okay. Everyone's starting to turn into the fell. Dragon Maul, you stayed. Okay, shamanism. Good job. What about War Song? Okay. Shattered hand turned fell. Uh oh. It's starting to happen, guys. It's starting. Starting to happen, but we're going to keep in this war until Blackrock decides on what they want to do. Um, because we're going to take as much as Machnathal as we can. Hopefully... I don't know. Hopefully we'll do okay going into the future with this fell religion happening. So Blackrock ended up getting out of the war and Laughing Skull beat us to getting the 
beast watch here so we are just left with taking this stuff right here we can't i don't understand why they took this but they can't give it back to me i don't know um mock doesn't even want to give us half this stuff so we're just going to leave it with this and leave huh, laughing skull to get the rest i guess and core that stuff and then finally we will take out those guys once and for all they've been sitting there for way way too long we are out of administrative power which is not a good thing our war exhaustion is very high we're almost out of manpower once again and like I said, we're going to try our best to stay on Blackrock's good side. Hopefully Dragon Maw does not turn anytime soon. Oh, I guess we'll make Black Fang our rivals. And I think this is where... But I think this is... um. We're just going to watch the rest of Machnathal just get wiped out, I guess. Peace. I'm going to get rid of these guys, this guy, though. Uh, we're slowly but surely taking on the uh, Zingara shore over there. Who is Blackrock at war now? They're at war with Laughing Skull, Burning Blade, and uh, Arcani. Oof. Being on the border with Blackrock is not my favorite at all but being able to be allied with dragon maw does help us a little bit i think oh black rock is gonna be tough 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 to take out now let's do that i think core that up we just need to core just a little bit more administrative power and we'll be able to core that stuff up Keep establishing our tribal connections just to keep everybody happy. Um, there's not much we can do with the Shadow Moon Clan, the Shattered Hand with Black Rock. Um, they're just a lost cause at this point, especially. I'm just gonna go ahead and assign a priest. See you. Hmm. All right, dudes. We are just able to do our tribal connections once more. Oh my, oh my. What a video this has been. We have taken back Gromgar, Frostwall. We have gone up into Machnathal. Machnathal pretty much fell apart. Blackrock took out Laughing Skull almost immediately. You know what? Blackrock is by themselves. Oh my gosh. Dragon Maw has a truce with Blackrock? All right, so man, you know, we might hold off on Black Fang. Black Fang is not really too much of a threat right now. They have a lot. Oh, my gosh. It might be time to take on Black Rock in the next video, but this is pretty much where we're going to end this video. Like I was saying, we took back the Thunderlords area, went up in the Machnathal. Took out some more of Black Fang, the Oranai we took out as well. We started expanding and taking this, which should be done very, very soon. And we saw the Shattered Hand, Shadow Moon, and Black Rock turn towards the Fell. So we're trying to keep that out, trying to... Uh, 
Man, oh man, it's gonna be tough. We're gonna, it's gonna be tough to keep Draenor as it is, but we do need to take out Shadow Moon as soon as possible, even though they are allied with Shattered Hand. So pretty much what I'm gonna try to do, I think in the next video is try my best to take out Black Rock um, and then start pushing down south to take out Shadow Moon and Shattered Hand. Once those three are out of the picture, I think we'll be okay. And then we can start, uh, you know, attacking Shatterath and moving our way west towards Saber Maw and Snarlpaw because they are Draenei so, and Saberon, so we don't really have to worry about their orc selves. But anyways, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment down below, and if you want to see more videos here on the Dude Gaming channel, please, please, please hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch y'all next time. Thanks, y'all.